this week on Three Sides of the Coin. Would anybody believe that Vinny Vincent is selling a legitimate guitar pick for $5,000? I'd be very careful spending that kind of money. We talk about all of the prices Vinny was hoping to charge for merchandise at one of his recent events. $35,000 for a set of Polaroids. It's not the set of Polaroids Gene has. At least there you could look at some naked women. <laughs> it's, it's, it's his own personal beaver hunt collection. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at least Gene's Polaroids, you probably could have enjoyed them privately in the bathroom. <laughs> How did you get them to do that? <laughs> oh. All right, we 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 lay into Vinny Vincent this week, so let it roll. This is three sides of the coin, talking all things Kiss. I want to rock and roll all night. You're listening to Three Sides of the Coin. Com. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow and rate us on Spotify. Subscribe and leave a review on iTunes. We appreciate your support. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Three Sides of the Coin. You got Mike, Tommy, and you're going to have a very, I'm guessing, quiet Mark today. He had some more anal works removed. Nice. <laughs> oh, boy. No, no, it was part two. Of, it was his part part two of his root canal. And that I mean, is, God, is- anybody who's ever had that done, you know, you can kind of just sit there and be quiet because you don't want to use your mouth yeah, but which, I'm here sucks today. For, which sucks for mark <laughs> lucky we don't have someone on today that he really wants to talk to i know oh, exactly I'd, I'd suck it up and do it and, uh, and do it so you won't suck it up you for us do. but you'd suck it up if it was like carmine apathy yeah yeah how come he's not on the show you have him on the other fucking show that no one cares about this is the show oh. oh, whoa yeah, Novocaine's wearing off, Mark. He's breaking now. Yeah. <laughs> Before you guys got here, Mike got in a good one to me. So I had to, Yeah, uh, exactly. To <laughs> um, all right. No guests today, but I I'm making a prediction that this week's episode's gonna is gonna cause some people to fucking flip their lid. At least one person in Nashville will probably flip his lid. Um, or her lid, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, Tommy, do you have any comments? Because I know there's a bunch of good comments. Yeah, that have been because you actually, on YouTube. Because you're actually giving me time and I'm prepared. So yes. Oh, I'm shut good. up! Like he's Please. prepared. He's got Please. a week to prepare for everyone. <laughs> yeah. No, we we a lot of great comments, and in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna piggyback and just say that there are some crossover comments and we're talking about the latest episode that we have with um mark mark yeah yeah he worked for a coin and for coin the management week, and the kiss army yeah, and they're also talking about the week before as well um with our previous guest so it's like yeah, there's so many good ones. Uh, Roger Bernard, this is pure gold. The amount of new information about the Kiss world that Mark revealed in his in this podcast was priceless. He made me feel like a fly on the wall when he talked about the last days of the Kiss Army. If you were a Kiss fan in the late 70s, you must watch this video. This is in the top 10 uh, three side of the coin videos for him, which is great. Uh, Rome, uh, Rome loves Dan 10 years, hence Three Sides is still delivering the goods that Boutwell talk and the flow and Eddie Paul as a kid picture were revealing minutia. Thank you, Matt Broder. And um, Dennis uh, Desjardin said, I love the Anton Fig story. Um, and then Leaf Abernett, nice guy, but not so much kiss stuff, sorry to say, but that pile or excuse me the pill in the bide was hilarious I just, I, yeah I, and oh, i think I, repl- I i think i replied Sorry. to it i i replied to that one because i was like the whole yeah. episode was about kiss what are you yeah. talking about there's not there's not much kiss in this episode i mean it's oh, all a coin I'm... management and kiss army and gene simmons and well and the crazy I... bastard chimed in he wants to know how you spell that cologne it's chaz c-h-a-z you crazy bastard why are you gonna go out and buy it and start wearing it now you crazy bastard of course he will he's all things kiss 
So there you go. I want to smell like Paul. Yeah, no, and I'm sorry, but I thought Bidet was spelled differently than this. I, th- I, I look. I, I think it's B I D E T, but maybe it's spelled differently in different countries. Yeah, it, it's all good. But thank you guys, and, and keep the comments coming. So there you go. Bidet. It's uh, no matter where it is, it's a toilet that squirts water up at you. Mm-hmm. Isn't that what? Isn't, isn't that what the alligator guy used to say? Mate, bidet. Mate. Clean in the oh, backside. Oh, Good day, not bad day. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Really? You, you, your mouth hurts. You don't want to talk. And then when you say something, it's a crappy joke. I look, I got to get him in when I can. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what Liz says. Yeah. In between meals. <laughs> Mark, it's your turn. Get it in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So um Kiss News, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, they just announced South American dates, didn't they? Or have they already been announced? Because I was seeing a bunch of um graphics for like a half a dozen dates in South America that today as we were recording this on Tuesday the twenty fourth. I don't know. That now Mark so sits cool. the now Mark sits there quiet like he knows nothing. Well, and I'm hoping that they'll start to announce the US dates here in the next month or so, whatever that's going to be. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Um, let's see. Anything else? There's no new KISS products. And and not that Mark is going to say anything, but I find it interesting. Like the next box set hasn't been announced. The next off the soundboard hasn't been announced. Um, I especially thought there would have been another off the soundboard unless right. they're not doing them anymore. Well, and what's interesting too is the Monsters of Rock, uh, they're, they're playing Bogota on the 15th of April. They're playing Sao Paulo on the 22nd and Santiago on the 30th. Um, so it's, it's, that's a lot of space in between. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have a, at least a few more fill-in dates in between, uh, these. All right. I'm all right. Because I'm a horrible poker face. Um, all by the time you guys are what, by the time this airs next week, um, That's telling us a lot, Mark. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Christ. <laughs> so, well, there's just a lot going on. So all I'm going to say is you, you, you guys will be, there's a lot going on in the kiss world and it will soon be unleashed on you all. So how about that? He tell, okay, he Mr. says, Kirk. he says he's got a bad poker face and then proceeds to tell us nothing. <laughs> I just told you to just, you know, you know what, you know what this is? <laughs> This is like the end of the Batman episode. <clears throat> stay, stay tuned. Same bat I know. time. Same bat, same bat time. Same bat channel, channel. next week. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so you know, w- very soon you guys will. Everything will. So, so Mark is saying week. by the time this airs, keep an eye on the interwebs because stuff will start popping up. And then maybe next Tuesday when we're recording, we'll actually have something to talk about. We'll maybe. see. We'll see. But we'll like see. I said, uh, there's there's a whole lot going on and uh, and uh, I everyone will be very happy. Yeah. So our Some more, than more, others. Cra- more crap to complain about one or the other. Pick your, nice. you know, pick your both, poison. both, both, both. But yeah, yeah. Let, let's just say uh, let's just say the band's not going to wait to the last minute to everyone's going to know stuff soon enough. So. Okay. Sweet. So that's. That's not saying something and saying something at all. So it's, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and after all of that, I have I after after all of that, I have no idea what Mark just said. Perfect, as it should. Be. <laughs> and and listen, if Mark said something that he shouldn't have said, we can just blame it on the drugs. There you go. Mark it's- is high as a kite right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so we're going to actually uh, talk about something that I don't know about you two guys, but I've had a number of fans asking us, asking me to comment on. And 
that's um, Mr. Vinnie Vincent. And specifically, a few weeks ago, prior to his last, I don't know what the frick you call those things he does at SIR Studios in Nashville, where he charges fans $500 to come sit in a room and eat crockpot cooking. Um, he released a whole long list of shit that he was selling at this event. And everybody's eyes were like, are you fucking nuts? I mean, this is, I think this was more fucking nuts than normal fucking nuts for Did this happen minute. already. This. Yes. It happened last weekend or the there's weekend another before. one. It looks like that's coming. Oh yeah. Up He's this year scheduling another one. I don't know. In the spring. I mean, Let's be honest. It's the only way he gets money because nobody is booking him to go to, nobody's paying him money to go to conventions anymore. Well, look at um, Petey. He's like, never again. And, um, you know, the Vinny, there is no Vinny Vincent band. There's no band that's going to go tour the country and play shows. Um, so he charges, you know, his core fan base. I don't know dozen two dozen fans 500 bucks a head to come spend a couple days in nashville at sir and listen from the people who go they have a great time god bless if that's what you want to spend your money on and you enjoy it more power to you but we wanted to go through and kind of read and react to um, some of these things he was offering for sale and the prices for them and honestly i have no idea if anything of this list was sold, I would have a hard time believing anything got sold at these prices. But let me bring up, find the list here. Let me bring hey, before this up. you before you even get to the list. I, I got to tell you, just as a Kiss fan, I I tuned out all things related to this guy a long time ago. You know, right after we started seeing the the, the cancer, the writing on the wall, yeah, and uh, you know, so I don't even. It's funny because I get people that that ask me. I'm like, you really think I give a fuck about anything that this guy does? Now, don't get me wrong, his time in the band, phenomenal. I will I will gladly invest time and research into anything from eighty two to eighty four. Um, you know, audio and video and photos and yeah, because it was part of KISS. Everything after that, all this shit, fuck, who cares? Couldn't, yeah. couldn't, care, couldn't fucking hey, care. You, you, you know, and I mean, it's anybody who's listened knows that we're, we've stopped supporting the, the guy. <clears throat> completely done. And I think in my case, in this instance, it was so like shocking when I saw this list and these prices that it was like, Oh my God, this is just beyond absolute ridiculous. This is delusional out of touch with reality. Um, this is going above and beyond taking advantage of your fans. Um, and, and listen, we know Gene and Paul are happy to charge a fortune for a lot of stuff, but except for a few things, I think, think gene and paul usually deliver the value that goes along with the price that they charge even though those prices might be high this stuff so let's just go i'll go through this real quick this first time this first item was was one where i was just like are you fucking kidding me the mega rare rare double rare 10th anniversary look it up kiss tour book with the creatures cover Brand new with the original insert, autographed for three thousand dollars. <laughs> that that look it up tour book is not rare, rare, rare. Not at all. Somebody actually posted a link. You can go right now and buy one on eBay in Europe for like thirty pounds. That's not autographed, but let's be honest, Vinny's autograph is not worth three thousand dollars. So. That Lick It Up tour book is not mega, mega rare. Not in the slightest. Um, 
an original Kiss logo guitar pick used by Vinny at the Kiss Rio show, June 1983. This is a hard rock display piece for certain five thousand dollars are you going to trust Vinny that that's actually an original guitar pick from that show and not just a new guitar pick because oh, easily made easily, easily made. made easily i mean and 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 i say that because he's done mo- uh, plenty of stuff over the years to cause you not to trust him that's the only reason why i say can you trust him because he's done and said so much stuff that you can't trust. $5,000, even if that was a legitimate guitar pick from that show, it's not worth $5,000. Well, look, let's be fair. As I say, it's always it's, worth it's whatever always worth someone's willing. Somebody's going to pay. I can't You're 100% see. Right. And I, I know and am damn good friends with some of the most hardcore Kiss collectors. And, you know, I'm, you know I suffer that brain damage, too. Um, but we, my brethren who are, you know, not afraid to to spend some money on kiss stuff, we laugh at that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. If somebody wants to spend $25,000 on a guitar, your money, man, your money, bless you, your money, but, but the people that have those sorts of resources and that are into this sort of thing, they're, they're, never. they're laughing their asses off. I know yeah. because I talk to them, they're friends of mine and we talk about stuff. And when rare things come up, we bid against one another and we trust me, no one's going after that guitar pick for right. at least not in the established kiss collecting community is and again, like I said, are there can there be rogue people? Well, of course, but you know, conventional wisdom and somebody who's been around this stuff since before it was called collecting kiss. Um, it, it's it's pretty silly. Yeah, I, and, I, and, and, I wonder how much of this craziness is there. So people, knuckleheads like us, would talk about it on a podcast because. I just can't see any sane person going, oh, yeah, you know, he's going to get, you know, that kind of money for, you know, and, and of course, you're going to go down the list. And, and I've got a few more things to add too about, you know, Polaroids and, and this. I, really? I, I mean, I just especially I, I guess you could say. You know, I'm fresh off of helping and, uh, you know, with the last Creatures box set. And I know what people got for photos. And I, <laughs> really? I know. Really? <laughs> who's who's going to do that? You know, they, the, 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 the other guitar pick, which is just funny, is, is a Gene Simmons guitar pick from the same show. And Vinny's selling Gene's pick for $3,500. So, Vinny... <laughs> Vinny thinks his guitar pick is worth fifteen hundred dollars more than Gene's guitar pick. I I just find that cute, cute that he thinks that he's worth more. Um, I'm not going to read everything here. Um, here's 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 what you're talking. About. Original set of Polaroid test shots from the Creatures tour book. Seventeen of them in all. Thirty five thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. I, I, again, it, it, that is I, I, that's when I'm like, is this guy pulling our leg just so we'll talk about him? Because, Could be, but then we're talking about it after the fact, so it didn't help him. Yeah, you know, um, just you know, you're in clown world at this point. You know, I mean, yeah, at that. those prices, it is complete. I mean, out of touch. An original set of Polaroid shots from the Lick It Up tour book. $32,000. There's 32 <laughs> Polaroids. So basically he's saying each Polaroid from that Lick It Up tour book test shot is worth $1,000 a Polaroid. Fucking nuts. Mark, I mean, seriously, could you think of a photo or a set of photos that you legitimately know exists and you don't go have to go into details is there anything out there that's worth that much money in the kiss world 
photos that you know exist, but a thousand dollars each now. No, no, I can't think of anything. Look, there's there's photos, you know, and out getting into it because it's funny. I'm not a big photo guy, but um, there's some photos going around um, right now um, that I know of, and that um, a certain person who you know was thinking about making a book. Um, I don't know. Did, did that come out? Yeah. Anyway, no, good. no. A week, a week ago, he posted an update. He's still working on it. Yeah. Well, it's funny because some of these photos that this clown um, was taught are, are circulating and, you know, they're not a thousand dollars each and they're fucking more rare than those. That's all I'm going to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a Vinny Vincent choker warning the boys are going to rock video. $10,000 for a choker. Again, I got to ask, how can you prove that that's actually the real legit guitar pick choker that you couldn't just go buy a similar item and say it? Because again, I don't trust anything this guy would say. Not at this kind of money. You know, if he, uh, if I, he said a hundred bucks, you might take your chance at a hundred bucks. At 10,000, you got to be nuts. Yeah, look, the, the chokers that Gene and Paul uh, wore in the 70s, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're, I've seen them go for actually not terribly far from that price at times, but um, that's a whole lot different than the one Vinny wears in the Boys Are Gonna Rock video. Don't get me wrong, yeah. I love that. And I and honestly, I really wish Kiss would have recorded it because I do like the song a lot. And I think Paul would have sang his ass off had, uh, had uh, you know, had they put that uh, on a record but i digress but it's still not worth uh, to me and again again i go back to what i say all the time it's only worth what someone's willing to pay for 10 grand for his choker nah ain't happening no i agree i agree um autographed photos from his table meaning you know he's got an eight by ten photo of him and kiss or the vinnie vincent invasion 250 dollars a photo for an autographed photo you want to take a selfie with Vinny at the event? Now, keep in mind, this is after you spent $500 to get into the event with him. And there's only, I don't know, but maybe two dozen, maybe at the max three dozen, but I'm guessing more like two dozen or less people showed up for this event. $500 a person to get in. Now you want to get a selfie with Vinny at that event? $100. I, what the fuck? I mean, that's just not 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 that that's ex necessarily expensive. To me, that falls on. Now that's just completely disrespectful to the fans who just paid five hundred dollars to walk in. The least you could do is take a goddamn selfie with them for free. I, I, I'm I'm kind of lost on the on the whole thing. Also, too, I think Tommy and I we were on the phone not too terribly long ago together and we were, we were speaking about when we used to go to the kiss expos you know it's whatever 20 bucks to get in yep. you could they'd photos were free you yeah yep. you just whatever you brought in i mean shit i have my stuff that i got oh, fuck that ace really posters sitting right i fuck they're everywhere in this room i got all those posters signed matter of fact without, without sounding like a dick when i was a a dealer I just bring whatever I wanted to get signed. And whoever was that guest, I get it signed. And Because they were getting paid by Richie for attending the convention. So the autograph piece was free. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. And you could go through the line. as they, You weren't supposed to, but no one listened. You know, you go through the fucking line all day if you wanted to get your shit signed. And you know what? They did it with a smile. Um, sure. Yeah. I remember, you know, I remember distinct. I remember Eric and 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 uh, Ace and Peter at di different times. Even Vinny, like, you know what? They were announcing after like an hour of signing. I'm gonna go in the Take whatever. A break. Yeah, break, and I'll, I'll be back, and they're gonna sign it. And they all did it. And yep. Vinny would Again, stand behind us. Vinny stood behind his table trying to sell his CDs, and people were just walking by, not paying ten any attention to him at all. And I remember he wanted to play with that. Uh, I don't know who the cover band was, but it was a Kiss cover band, and they wouldn't play. They wouldn't let him up on stage, and so he lost his mind, and he was up 
I remember he was upstairs arguing with uh, with Richie Rano because he was so hot that the, <laughs> the Kiss cover band didn't want Vinny on stage with him. It was, you know, I mean, things have changed, man, because I'm telling you, he just stood there. I, I walked past him and he stood there behind his table. You could have talked to him all day if you wanted to. Well, you know, and, and something, you know, this gets to what you said, Mark, there's, a, you know, it's worth whatever somebody will pay. And, you know, I, I think Gene himself said at one point, you know, why do you ask for such huge numbers? Because if somebody's stupid enough to give it to you, you're going to take it. So, I mean, if somebody's stupid enough to give him $32,000 for a set of Polaroids, he's, but, he's stupid not to take it. But is it stupid for them to do that if that's how they want to spend their money? I mean, I want to be careful about how we say that. I, all three of us think it's outrageous that he would charge even close to the amount of, of money that he's charging. But if there's one person in the world that that was he's their guy and wants to spend the money that way, then, you know, God. No, bless no. Him, I uh, yeah. I mean, that's what Mark has said. And we've always said that about everything, whether it's, yeah, if, I just you wanted, to if you want to buy what action we're figures or anything, here. if you want, if you as the fan feel that that's worth it to you and you've got the money, yeah. God bless you. Enjoy it and have a blast with it. I'm just saying from the side of Vinnie Vincent, asking these prices he is completely out of touch oh god in yeah. my opinion with mm -hmm. the reality of what things are worth and how to treat your fans i mean i'll go back to again somebody's paying five hundred dollars to basically go to a meet and greet vip with vinnie vincent and then you get to that meet and greet vip and you want a photo it's going to cost you a hundred dollars more does kiss or any band that charges you to come to a vip meet and greet then charge you more to get a photo with them at the vip meet and greet never that's not that's not what you do it's just not how you treat fans if you're spending 500 bucks you get a photo this is just the way it is you don't pay another hundred dollars to get the photo well, right. You don't no, pay. No. So here's here's the next thing. You want an album signed? If you brought your own album and you wanted Vinny to sign it here, it's another three hundred dollars to get that no. album signed. Michael, look at what you're doing with Blackie Lawless, who arguably is way bigger star and way more successful on his own than than Vinny was. Totally. And look at you know. Again, I was fortunate to to do the the wasp meet and greet. A, you were treated like a king. B, you could bring two things to get signed: record, poster. He didn't give a fuck. I mean, and and, and, a, and he gave you an autograph laminate on top of those two autographs. Correct. So he walked out of there and, and some pics, and you got to talk to him, and and it was extremely well done. And, and this has nothing to do with Michael. But Michael just you know did it, but. As a fan, as a fan of Wasp, that was a fucking awesome evening. And you you walked out of there with a big smile on your face. And yeah. everybody did. Everybody yep. did. Well, and like I, I talked to numerous people. Matter of fact, when when I went, I'm sorry, my fucking tooth's going. Um, when I went, there were a good handful of three sides. Uh, p or viewers because you know they sat and talked to me in line and you know we talked a little three sites and and they were all saying how happy they were you know after the the thing and we got to go up on stage and you know all this just really cool stuff and when you compare and contrast that to what Vinny did you know yeah. it, it's like you got to go you know dude you're kind of taking advantage of people and again it, you know Look, I've spent a lot of money on Kiss, but I really can't ever, for the most part, from a meet and greet to something that I bought, you know, through an auction or even through the Kiss auction, all the money I've spent, again, for the most part, I haven't had any problems. I, I cannot, you know, and trust me, too, there's another thing. There have been things that I wanted for my collection that I just went, I'm not paying that. And somebody did. 
but I can never remember anything like, like something that's so easily faked, like a, you know, a guitar a, pick, like a, a guitar pick. Because when Kiss was selling all that stuff at the auction, it was the real deal, man. There was no Gene didn't go out there and fucking fake all these posters to go. Oh, this, this is an original one, and and you know what? Even uh, when they did that Japanese um thing uh, a few years back which i was honored to to be a part of not physically go there but you know some of my memorabilia was matter of fact that jacket right there was in the was shipped to japan and um by the way thank you it was so much fun to be part of um but they did some repo posters but guess what they They said it they told you that yep yes Mm -hmm. and and that there tells you the difference between you know the VV camp and, and the kiss camp, you know? Right. Well, and look at Buck Cherry, hundred bucks for a meet and greet with all five band members. You get a t-shirt and a VIP laminate. They'll take photos with you and they'll sign whatever the hell you bring in there. Yeah. I mean that, I, again, that's, that's my what whole a deal point for a that, fan that mm-hmm. almost every single, I could I'll go on the record and say every meet and greet that's being sold by bands out there on the road, you don't have to pay on top of the meet and greet fee to get things done during the meet and greet, meaning you don't pay an additional money to get a photo with Buck Cherry. You're not paying an additional hundred bucks to get an autograph from Buck Cherry. That's what Vinny's doing here. That that's what gets me about this is, He's got these fans who paid to go to a high-end meet and greet. Five, and it, it was $500 a person. And now you got to pay more money to get an autograph. You got to pay more money to get a photo. That's just, in my opinion, it's just completely disrespectful to your fan base. That's saying, I only want your money. I could give a crap about you being a fan of me. Give me the money you can right now. I mean, he was charging a thousand dollars if you wanted him to autograph a history book. What? I mean, you could bring a history book, you know, at least when when I was doing the meet and greets with Kiss, and I don't know how they do them now, but the first couple of years, you could bring your history book to the Kiss meet and greets. And you can ask them to autograph and they'll autograph it. You want me to go grab mine? That's how I got mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you know, you want to you wanted to go to a kiss meet and greet and wanted um Gene and Paul to autograph uh a Creatures of the Night album. Done. It's not costing you three hundred dollars more. I even know at the kiss meet and greets initially, not only did you get the professional photo. But once the band went out and started mingling and talking with the people at the meet and greet, they would take selfies with the fans all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, Hell, yeah. Gene, Gene would take your phone and call your mom. I saw that <laughs> more than one occasion that he'd get on the phone and talk to some fan's mom. I mean, not another hundred just, bucks to do that. Not another 500 to do that. They're great people. I mean, yeah, they understand how to treat fans. And I think at the end of the day, this is what this shows about, about Vinny. He doesn't know how to treat his fans. Just clearly doesn't it. You know, if you're a fan and you go to these events and you're having a great time, once again, great. I'm happy you're enjoying it, but I can tell you, he's not treating the fans with respect here. He's, he's taken advantage to try and get as much money you see these prices. I mean, come on, thirty-two thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, thirty-five thousand dollars. That's all about money. That's simply it. This isn't trying to do something cool for the fans. It's all about money. He could have, you know, he could have, if that was a legit guitar pick from Rio, he could have said, "Hey, listen, I made Mark to your point, twenty-four reproductions. That's it." And everybody who comes to my event for $500 a person, I'm going to give you one reproduced guitar pick straight from the pick that I used at the show. You, you don't think the fans would have loved that? I got a, one of 24 reproduced guitar picks of the Creature Show at Rio. 
I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I just felt like Tell the you know, truth. we didn't need, we, we didn't need to go through every single thing on here because there was way more stuff in here. There's blankets and t-shirts and trading cards and all this other crap. This was just, for me, it was like, are you fucking kidding me? We know he's out of touch with reality, but this was like way, way overboard in my opinion. Well, I, again, though, you know, some people went I'm, and, and Michael, you said it earlier in the conversation. We went I, and I mean this sincerely. I hope you had a great time. I, I hope it was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth every penny to you. But when you, you know, I've done other artists meet and greets, you know, Deep Purple and Aerosmith and, you know, and Ped and, you know, Alice. I, I, I've done these events. Stars who are a billion times bigger than Vinny ever mm-hmm. will be charge a fraction of that cost and give you way more. So that's what I'm basing my opinion on. My, my opinion isn't based on the fact that he was a jerk to us. No, uh, you're, I'm some, with you on this hundred percent. We're, yep. we're some stupid fucking podcast with three freaking knuckleheads who get together and talk about kiss. Who gives a fuck about us? I, I get that. But you know what? Again, here's a guy who's playing off, you know, I don't even know, know you, his ego or whatever. Desperation? Trump, yes. It, it, it smacks of desperation. And again, the fact that three knuckleheads are, are, are pointing this out may seem kind of weird to some people, but us as music fans and us of and, and the three of us as you know music consumers who still buy music and who still love this we have a little platform that we can say something about it and i think you know that's what we're doing today we're going you know what here are here's examples of others of other bands and other acts here's how they treat their fans and you can say oh you know aerosmith charges this well well you know what it's fucking aerosmith and and it's still more affordable than than, than Vinny yeah. Vince. Well, and the other piece of it too for me is, you know, fans should fans should demand more. Fan, uh, fans what should demand fans should demand some respect from mm-hmm. their artists. Mm-hmm. You know, we we've always said fans aren't owed anything. Just because you're a fan, you're you're not owed a free meet and greet. Right, but, but demand is respect. But demand respect, and and again, and 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 this, Mark, to your point, this isn't coming from me because of the way Vinny treated us or anything like that. This is, you know, I've been working in this business for a long time. I've done lots of meet and greets. This is me sitting here as somebody in the in- industry going, "This is ridiculous." I mean. Somebody in Vinny's camp should have sat down and said, Vinny, we can't put this out here. This isn't respectful. This is not how you do it. But, you know, they're all in awe that they're working for Vinny Vincent. You know, the first thing I told Blackie when when we were talking about doing meet and greets for the first time is I'm like, Blackie, it's got to be a value to the fans. Before we even pick the price. What's in this package has to be seen as a value compared to what we are charging. So the fans in their mind can go, okay, I paid this much and I'm getting this, 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 and this, and it all adds up and it's worth more than what I'm paying. I go, if you can do that, the fans are going to walk away and they will not complain about the price. And I haven't heard one complaint. All I've heard is just like, oh my God, he was so nice and he was so uh, giving and was great with the with the interview and, and the talk and all that. You know, it's been nothing but positive. Well, I mean, the, the, the point is most bands that I know of, and maybe this is the homework question. Is there another artist or band out there that you feel like is taking advantage of their fans because of the prices they charge? And And listen, don't say Gene Simmons and don't say Paul Stanley because we've already gone through that. I'd say we Paul will. I, you know, I, I will. I will just so we're clear on this. And, and Mark, you talked about you bought a lot of stuff. Listen, 
Kiss still owes it to the fans to resolve whatever the hell's going on with the Dubai debacle. I was going to bring that up. A lot of fans spent a lot of money and they've got nothing out of that. Right. And we will call and we have called Gene and Paul out on that. Now, hold on, but really quick, just here's something that I want. And again, I'm using my contractor because business is still business. OK, I don't care if you're in the music business or the construction business. From what I gather, this is a third party. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, it's Gene and Paul's responsibility. But I'm and I just is just me. I'm not basing this on anything i know this is bothering the band about it because they got to hear about it often i would not be surprised with that in the in you know in the behind the scenes if they're going after that third party i Legally. would assume they are yeah and once that's resolved and, and unfortunately guys Sometimes it takes time. It is a legal issue. It takes um, a lot of time. And, and here's another thing. And, and if that third party, if the money disappeared, much like a certain book, book, if if that money disappears, you're not getting anything. You're not getting anything. And it's not your you did nothing wrong. Now, this is my own personal take. Um, I, I would like to think that the KISS Corporation would go, okay, it was X amount of dollars. We'll make good somehow. We'll make good somehow. And I hope they do. But one thing I did hear that KISS doesn't have the master list of who bought everything. I think that went to a third party. Well, if, the, if you know, and I, it was so long ago, I don't remember. But wherever we as fans went to purchase either just the stream or these upgraded packages, and I don't believe that was done on Kiss Online, then you're right, Mark. Somebody else has all the customer data of who purchased what. And and, and again, I'm not making excuses for KISS here, just explaining that it's not as easy as KISS just saying, give that to me, because there's privacy concerns there. And, and let me give you a, a really simple example to that. Um, when Wasp sold their VIP packages, the ticket, the VIP packages were sold by each venue through their ticketing system a local ticketing platform or AXS, or in some cases, Live Nation. 95% um, of those venues, when Wasp, me, went to the venue and said, please give us the customer data of the 25 people because we need to contact them. No problem. Here you go. In a small case, three or four of those venues, we can't do that. It's against the privacy policy on our website to give you the customer data. And we weren't asking for credit cards. We were just asking for first name, last my... name, email address, and phone number. But that's private information. It was given to the ticketing company. It wasn't given to Wasp or it wasn't given to KISS. So some of those companies stood firm and said, nope. We cannot, will not give that to you from a legal standpoint. We can't do that. We will communicate on your behalf or others made us sign release documents in order to get it. So what I'm getting to is, and to your point, Mark, there's, le there's probably legal discussions going on behind the scenes now. And everybody is trying, basically everybody's trying to say it wasn't my fault. KISS is saying it's not my fault. The third party company is saying it's not my fault. How do we get this resolved? Give us the data. We don't have the data. Get your lawyer to give us, you know, that's what's going on. And also I'm to betting. be fair, also to be fair to KISS, for a year's time, because it's been three years, right? For a year's time, or a couple of years, excuse me, or a year's time, 
they kept baiting everybody going, Hey, your hats are ready. You're we're going to yeah. ship them any day. So you can't go, well, you know what? I was prom- promised this, whatever on January one. And by March, I didn't get this went in, you know, they kept baiting the, the paying customers. Stringing, stringing you along. Yeah. Keeping you, for over keeping you quiet. Year. Yep. Yeah. So, so that's how I'm saying. I think kiss now is kind of exhausted the okay we're waiting for you to make it right now i think they're going after the but like you said mike that was one of the points i I was going to interject everybody paid with a credit card nobody paid by cash nobody paid by check everything's got a credit card you know attached to it and that's when you're going to have some some issues like you said kiss doesn't have your credit card information it was to the company that did it. Yeah, the, the money didn't go from the third party to KISS. The money stayed at the third party. We don't know if that money's still there or not. You know, it's... Michael, it, but that's right. We don't know what KISS's deal was. Did, you, did, no. KISS, did KISS get a half up front? Did, they, I, did KISS even get paid at all? I, I, I don't know. I can't answer that question. We don't know. But, but, but all this illustrates that it could be a very messy situation that KISS is dealing with. Now, we know KISS is dealing with it, and we know KISS wants to resolve it. So to their credit, they understand that it's not a good situation. Both Doc um, and Paul have been public about yeah, it, that they it, it, want yep. to get it taken care of. Yep, yep. And, and, and I guess my point is, even with that mess on Gene and Paul's hands, yeah, Gene and Paul can ask for a lot of money for, you know, stage play guitars and mics and, you know, whatever that you want, but you get what you paid for. I don't know of a single fan who's sitting here going, well, I'm still waiting five years later for my stage play bass from Gene Simmons. No, you got it that night. You got the the fire breathing sword. You got the mic, whatever. Um, Kiss charges a lot of money, but that's because it's supply and demand. They can because of who they are. Um, I think the point going back to Vinny here is he's just, he's, he's desperate. This is not how you treat your fans. And, and a homework question, which I was getting to is, can you tell me another artist who is doing something as crazy as what Vinny's doing here? Because I can't think of any artists that I know of that have done meet and greets or offered anything of this sort where you're like, are you fucking out of your mind? There'll be artists where you go, gee, that's kind of expensive. But $32,000 is not just, oh, gee, that's kind of expensive. That's, are you fucking out of your mind asking for that? Is there another artist out there that's done this? Let us know because I can't think of any and, and, and Vinny needs to be called out on this. That's why we're doing this. It's just like, this just rings of desperation. This just rings of disrespect for your fans. Um, it, it just rings of a desperate money grab. I mean, that's all it comes down to to me is like, are you really that bad off that you need to sell something for so much fucking money? I don't know. It's just, it's, well, it's a fucking thing, mess. Just as a fan. Um, and I mean this part, you know, sincerely, not that I don't mean everything sincerely. But go back to 2018 when, when Vinny came back on the scene. I, I think just people in general um, like a good comeback story. Uh, yeah. I know I do. We I were hoping for it. Yeah. Again, we were vocal about being hoping for it. And, and without, you know, without patting my own self on the back over the years, I've worked with some people that um, I've, I've, I've hired some people that needed a second chance, um, you know, in my personal life um, and with my business. And I've always been a big fan of second chances and trying to help somebody out when they need it most. And Vinny had a chance in 2018. 
he could have came back because he had a horrible reputation. He ripped all those people off on his box set and his cassette thing and all that stuff that was going on. And when he finally emerged, he could have made this right. We've talked well, about Let's this. keep in mind, Mark, at that event, he did lead everybody on that he was going to make things right. He was going to he was going to make good on the box set. He had plans to put music releases. You know, we were all very hopeful. We were all sort of like, okay, good. Maybe this second chance was worth it. Exactly what I'm getting at. Because had he worked, and that's the key word, had he worked and got a band together and even just got a little combo where he could tour and he had a name enough where he could play small clubs, bigger bars. And make a living. And God damn it, get out there and work. Um, you know, that that blue collar ethic that his fans, for the most part, are, are his, 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 you know, his fan base. The blue collar people, the people who, you know, the lunch pail crew, we go out there and we work every day. That's who's Kiss fans are. And that's who Vinnie Vincent fans were. Had he done that, had he, he could have really set himself up nice where if he would have sold some you know cds at a reasonable market price and and played little clubs people would have would have went but yeah. that requires work it doesn't require scamming which is what we saw and we saw it the three of us firsthand when we were when we were at pd's expo he started all the bullshit. I'm not going to show up and I'm not going to, you got to move my room. Fuck you. Give me different hotel rooms and, yeah. oh, you know, call, call, calling Tommy minutes before the interview and telling Tommy that he wants a table and chairs on stage instead of a couch. What the fuck is Tommy supposed to do? Tommy's a guest as well as Vinny. <laughs> Again, guys, like I said, I know we've told these stories in the past, but when we start on this subject, you can't help but revisit those things because we're not saying these things to be mean to anybody. We're saying these things because they're accurate. And these are things that we saw with our own eyes. We lived it. I don't need to take anyone's fucking word for it. I lived it mm -hmm. as these guys did. We saw it and heard it firsthand. So we're just we're just saying after all that and now you're trying to sell Polaroids for 30 grand. What the fuck? You know, to me, again, because Vinny, let's face it, he's associated with Kiss. And that's the whole reason you're watching the show and you pay attention. That's why we love the Creatures box set, because that. That gentleman did help write some songs. That guy, gentleman did play great guitar, and we loved his time in the band. But well, and we really it. care about, well, and also, too, I think it should be said, and you guys know this, but we care about you guys as listeners. We care about Amen. you. We're glad you're here. And I feel like, you know, lots of times I forget we're taping because we're just sitting here talking like any one of you would with your friends. And here it is, it's a podcast, but I also realize that we have quite a reach because of your support. So the least we can do, aside from listening to your concerns and, and, and react to what you're saying to us, is I feel a sense of duty to protect you, at least to tell you, hey, you know, this you doesn't, might this doesn't, this, this doesn't sound right to us. Mm -hmm. You know, again, We've said, if you want to spend your money and, and it's enjoyable to you, great. We're just saying this doesn't, this doesn't pass the smell test for us. Just like we said about that book, um, what, eight years ago when we did that interview about the book that was coming out. We said it didn't pass our smell test. And we, we hope the book comes out. We hope it's a great book, but we're not supporting it until it's done. By the way, Mike, let's clarify one thing, because you said that, I think today in a post you sent us, somebody was talking about that, that book, and this is factual. That person said that book was done and would be out for Christmas, by Christmas. Of 2015. Yes. That's what he said to us. Everything else 
we don't know after whatever the after the but that's when we decided we're not going to support this because we knew because wasn't that interview in like june we interviewed him june of 2015 yeah and he was and telling he us was the book he was telling was, us it was going to be shipping by christmas, christmas of that year yeah yes so a lot has been you know so much time between now and then but that's when whenever we roll our eyes and chuckle about it whatever happened afterwards but that's what he told us it was going to be ready for christmas of that year which was at the time six months away we knew that was happening and it's not everything that's well it's not that we know more than other people it's it's common sense i mean look at the world we live in right now okay there's facts and then there's opinions and they are two completely different things now granted we just have an opinion about this but we're saying open up your minds and consider what we're saying maybe you'll disagree with us and that's fine but at least you heard our argument and it might keep you out of a situation where you spent two three you've got four, you've got to learn you've got to learn from history is what this all comes down because it repeats itself you know, in the case of Vinny Vincent, learn from Vinny's history, his history prior to 2018 when he returned and what he's done since 2018. At least since 2018, he's made a lot of promises to do stuff and nothing's been delivered. He made a lot of promises in Atlanta. Literally, it was like just five years ago within the last few days that we were there for all that. He was promising shows he was promising new albums and remastered versions of old albums he was promising to make good on the box set and hey, none remember, of that remember, none of that's another, happened remember when a kiss member said they were going to put out a uh, big vault box set oh they did it Forgot. and they did it yeah they did it that was expensive but they did it they came was through on their go goods expensive but guess what man Everyone and you got and you and you got everything that was promised in that box set and more and more. So, I know. Yeah. So, I mean, to me, that's what this is, is, you know, I, I said this earlier, like going back to that guitar pick. How do I know that that's the legitimate guitar pick he played on stage in Rio in 1983? Because the question that hits me is. His history isn't truthful. His history is saying stuff and not doing it. So if that guitar pick was being sold by Vinny for 50 bucks, you know, you could chalk it up to lesson learned. $5,000 is not a lesson learned. $5,000 is painful if you bought that and then learned. I mean, you know, we know there's also a history of Vinnie Vincent reproducing guitars, selling them and telling people they were the actual ones he's played on stage. That's factual. That's my point. I'm not saying he did it with the guitar pick. I'm just saying in your mind, you need to go. Does it make hmm, sense? Could it be the same situation? So just i guess what it comes down to when it's stuff like this you got to be smart is what i'm saying be very smart this isn't a little bit of money this isn't like spending five bucks on something this is spending five thousand dollars this is spending thirty five thousand dollars and guess what if you found out it wasn't real do you think you're going to be able to get your money back mm -hmm. no it's not going to happen just we just want you guys to to protect yourselves. That's all we're saying. Be be, be smart. Look at who you're dealing with. Um, we're just telling you we don't trust anything that's being said about this. And we won't even get into the the follow up post where we promised to release all sorts of albums over the next few years. It's like, yeah, right. You promised that five years ago. Where is that? You that promised to play with a, you promised to play with a band at Creatures Fest. What happened there? Oh, that, that, you know what? Let's touch on that really quick because we brought that up a couple months ago. And this kind of is, is in the spirit of all this. We knew then that wasn't happening and we didn't want to ruin anything. 
So we're not coming here just to shit on fucking Vinny. We're just here to, you know, tell you the truth. If we wanted to shit on the guy, we would have done it then. It's not our intent. Our intent is like Tommy said, we're just trying to share some knowledge with you guys. That's all. Share, share a little bit of our experience and insight and, yeah. and, and maybe protect somebody from spending some huge sum of money. Yeah. The only if if I was interested in in Vinnie Vincent box sets, I'd wait till that motherfucker was right in front of me, meaning the box set, and I had yeah. my wallet out. And you could walk out the door with it. Yes. Other than that, uh, uh-uh. I don't trust. Yeah, I don't trust anything that says albums are going to the pressing plant. Buy now. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. I I I want to see that album in front of me. I don't want to even Unless. mail order it. I don't want to even um, mail order it on the promise of it. I just, I want to be able to walk into a convention somewhere and walk away from a table with it. Unless there's a proven track history like Alan. Okay. He oh, yeah. What he says he's going to do. Everything that he's produced has been absolutely wonderful. You can take him on his word. Same thing. Look at his um, history. Yeah. Look at his history. You know, look at Julian Gill as well. Julian is an honest, above board guy. Everything he's ever said he was going to do, he's done. All the books are what he said they would be. But you got to look at history to Michael's point. Learn from history, because if you don't learn from history, you will make the same mistakes again. And in the case of any Vincent, it could be very expensive mistakes. Mm-hmm. that's it okay. um all right so so i gave you a homework question are there any other artists out there that you think are doing this um i don't know is there any other homework did you go to the vinnie vincent thing for i'd 500? love to talk to somebody that went i would love to have someone on the show that actually went to it the thing is i think they're like sworn to secrecy right it's so like, and then they're scared if they came on they would never be fucking what it's Vinny vincent in a rehearsal room but they're sworn to secrecy of not posting photos and video <laughs> and not telling people what's going on dude this is not like the fucking rolling stones this is Vinny vincent okay nobody gives a shit right Look, you know what this smacks of when you say it like that? And I'm, I'm, I don't mean to sound cryptic. That sounds like some fucking child abuser telling his fucking kid. It's a cult. Yeah, it's a don't cult. Tell me I fucking, you know, did that. that's, that's fucking twisted, man. Yeah, twisted. You, 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 you come to our cult meeting when you leave. Don't tell anybody what we did here. It's like Fight what? Club. First rule of what? Fight Club, don't talk about Fight Club. Hmm. First rule of that kiss group. Don't mention that kiss group. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Hey, homework. What do you think of all of this? What do you think of these prices? Um, do you believe anything? Do you believe any of what he said? And we'll just leave it at that. Um, all right. I think that's it for three sides of the coin this week. That's it, everybody. We shall see you next week. Do you have something to say? Leave a voicemail or send us a text message. Call 320-515-4743. For three sides of the coin. Provided by LarryDavisVoice.com and by JessicaMarsVoice.com. That's Mars with a Z.